Good morning, you're with Home with Johans, and today I'm with, uh, we're dealing with a raccoon problem. I think every homeowner has a raccoon problem. As you can see, say hi Derek and Mike. Hey. Hello. And what's the name of your company? My company is SWAT Wildlife. And, and what does that stand for? That's a specialized wildlife apprehension technician. Okay, so what are the, what are the, it's, a, it's Mike, right? Derek. Derek, well that's Mike. So Derek, what's some of the problems you see in this particular property? What do we have going on here? Because you, unfortunately, we didn't have the camera rolling when you received a little, you know, surprise. That's right. So what we have here is a, a pretty common issue around the GTA, especially the more of the urban setting downtown, is the raccoons will find um, little nooks and, and uh, spaces underneath decks. And this one actually leads into a hot tub, which is a great warm shelter for them to bunker into. So what we had here was a raccoon that ripped through the sidewall of of your hot tub, pulled out some of the foam insulation and made itself a little home. So what Mike's going to do now is protect it with a piece of sheet metal, fasten it down and uh, that will keep the raccoon at bay until we can get a proper. You saw replaced. the, you saw, I thought it was a dead raccoon we under did. there, but, but it was actually alive and yeah. said good morning to yeah, you. Yeah, we had a bit of a, a bit of a surprise. It was almost like a jack in the box. Yeah. Came right out at me. So, I mean, a great hot tub's a great place for a raccoon to live in the winter time it because is. it's nice and warm. Yeah. Now the other problem we have over here is uh, you see the raccoons are lifting the deck up and I guess they're, they're using this as their latrine? Latrine it's called, yeah. yeah. And the, the raccoons will tend to go in the same spot over and over again. So, so what is a what is a good way of getting them to stop doing this? Well, this one's a tricky one that we deal with all the time. Yeah. Um, a lot of people try to clean it over and over again with Javax, yeah. but never seems to be a, a permanent solution. So what I like to do personally is I try to make the space uh, feel uncomfortable for them. So a little trick is to, to bunch up a tarp, weight the tarp down, but bunch it up so that when they walk over to that spot again, you know, it's almost like they're they're climbing through oh, something okay. and it's uncomfortable. So it throws them off. And uh, I don't like to crawl over something when I'm taking a dump. Exactly, so, right? They, you yeah, know, so that's a great idea. Yeah. Okay. So. And, and once you leave that on for a few days, they'll, they'll find another uh, latrine and uh, that should do it for you. It's simple but effective. We've got all these houses around here. I'm sure they all have raccoon problems. How do homeowners protect the home itself from uh, raccoons? Because they typically destroy the flashing, they like to get into the attic, and they like to live there because there's lots of foam insulation on the floor that they can live in. So uh, how do people protect? Well, that's, what, that's where we come in. I mean, a lot of people don't call us until they actually have a problem, right? So they're not- you don't go to your doctor until until yeah. you actually have it, right? So there's not a whole lot of prevention being done, but once we get on site, we can do a full inspection, yeah. which is the exterior, the interior. Um, and a lot of the homes have all the same vulnerabilities, just some have more, some have less of them. So we're looking for things like roof vents or air vents, people call them, open chimney caps that mm -hmm. essentially are like an open hollowed out tree in the wild, um, soffit intersections where they can stand and push through these soffit panels. And what, so what are their preventative measures? So, so what we do is we go and we protect all these areas. So whether it's a flashing application or a meshing application, it really depends on if the space needs to breathe or if it can just be sealed off and buttoned up so that they can't push it. Okay. So that's what we do. We look for everything that we can see, we protect it, and then we'll offer the homeowner a warranty on all our work. How long is the warranty for? Uh, industry standard is about a year. Okay. Uh, but we use a very heavy gauge material. Um, that it's not going anywhere and a lot of the times if it's on for a few years and you decide to get a new roof It can be reinstalled as long as the roofers don't throw it away. So the material is very high quality It's not your typical Home Depot mesh or chicken wire as people like to call it. It's okay. not what we use. And to everybody is always concerned about cost So what are we looking at cost wise for you to show up and do an evaluation and a preventative? Uh... It varies from home to home, but I would say the average cost for any homeowner in a downtown Toronto home would be anywhere between say $350 to $500 okay. to protect the entire home. And that's actually reasonable considering the level of damage cost-wise that a raccoon can do. Yep. Yep. Uh, and so what's your, if people want to get a hold of you, what's your website? So our website's uh, www.swatwildlife.com. Okay. And um, we have Facebook. SWATWildlife.com. Yeah, and our slogan is SWAT Wildlife. We serve and protect your home. To serve and protect, Derek with SWAT Wildlife, and you're at home with Johans, giving you another valuable home tip.